Did Jesus risen form the dead? An overview. The known facts. Theories and its objections. One swoon. Two hallucination. Three spiritual resurrection. Four theft. Five wrong tomb. He is not here, for he is risen, as he said. Come, see the place where the Lord lay, Matthew 28, 6. The known facts. The disciples preached to crowds of thousands in Jerusalem that Jesus had risen from the dead. Previously scared disciples were only days later preaching the resurrection with boldness. All the disciples were tortured for their faith, and eleven of the twelve ended up dying for IT. Many different witnesses, over 500, attested to seeing Jesus after his death. Christianity spread like wildfire throughout the known world. Jesus was tortured and crucified. Jesus' tomb was found empty. Theories Swoon Hallucination Spiritual resurrection Theft Wrong tomb Swoon Jesus didn't actually die, but he fainted, swooned, on the cross and was revived later. Objections 1 Roman soldiers, expert executioners, oversaw the crucifixion and pronounced him dead. Objections 2 How could Jesus, after being tortured, crucified, speared, and buried, unwrap himself, move a stone, defeat soldiers, and walk seven miles? Objections 3 The Gospels claim to be historical accounts, not symbolism or allegory. Objections 4 the disciples were devastated by the death of Jesus. Hallucination. Jesus' followers saw him in their imaginations. Objections 1. On multiple occasions and under various circumstances, different individuals and groups of people experienced appearances of Jesus alive from the dead. Objections 2. The story is simple and lacks signs of legendary embellishment. Objections 3. Jesus' glorified resurrected body still has physical features, he could eat, and be touched. Objections 4. Would the disciples allow themselves to be martyred for an elaborate hoax? Spiritual Resurrection Jesus only rose from the dead in a spiritual sense. Objections 1. The original disciples believed that Jesus was risen from the dead despite their having every predisposition to the contrary. Objections 2. The earliest Jewish allegation that the disciples had stolen Jesus' body, Matt 28.15, shows that the body was in fact missing from the tomb. Objections 3. If Jesus was only raised in a spiritual sense, what happened to his physical body? Objections 4. Paul claims Christianity is pointless without a bodily resurrection. Theft. The disciples stole the body and claimed he rose from the dead. Objections 1. The Gospels claim to be historical accounts, not symbolism or allegory. Objections 2. To steal the body, the disciples needed an elaborate plan including bribed guards, sufficient motive, a place to dispose the body, faked witnesses all with everyone taking the secret to their grave. Objections 3. Would the disciples allow themselves to be martyred for an elaborate hoax? Objections 4. There is zero evidence that the body was stolen. Wrong tomb. Confused by grief, the disciples went to the wrong tomb. Objections 1. Joseph of Arimathea's involvement and testimony must be rejected to accept this view. Objections 2. Multiple witnesses saw where Jesus was laid. Objections 3. If the disciples accidentally went to the wrong tomb, all one would have to do to disprove it is to go to the right one. Objections 4. Contemporary scholars have almost universally discounted all of these theories. None of these naturalistic theories succeeds in meeting the conditions as well as the resurrection theories. God raised Jesus from the dead. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Romans 10, 9, 10. God bless you all.